Monday of the fourth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But, I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa, and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm the response is, A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go in to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd, a good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man, who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord.